What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this glowing lines effect inside of After Effects. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go up to this brush right here on your tools and just have it selected and it will pop up this window over on your right hand side called the paint and this is where you can change all your uh, colors and your uh, size for your brush and everything like that. So I have this on red for my paintbrush color and then my size. I can change it or whatever. I'll do like 30 for the diameter. That looks good. And I can just go back to this paint, make sure everything's good. Opacity 100%, flow 100%. You guys can change this if you want. I'm just going to leave this uh, default settings. And then the duration is the thing that you want to change. So you get the uh, scribbling like lines effect. So you want to change this to single frame or maybe already on single frame. Just make sure the duration is on single frame and you should be good. All right, so then you want to double click on your layer while you have the brush selected. So then it pops up this new composition window. And this is where you can do all your brush like effects and everything. So you can just scribble around anything you want on this layer right here. And the first thing I'm just going to do for this effect is just a simple just like outline around the person here. So you just start at the first frame and then just hit your arrow key to move forward. And you just outline the person here. And I'm doing this pretty fast. So it's uh, not going to look too perfect. But this is just for the tutorial. So I'm not too worried about having it look uh, perfect. And then if you mess up like this, I didn't really want that line to look like that. You can just hit Control Z. It'll just delete your last brush. All right, so I just finished outlining him with the brush. So if I just close this window or just drag it over so I can see our main composition here. And when I hit play, you can see the brush is now uh, like doing that effect, the outline effect. And it's super quick, like super fast. So you may not like that. But once again, I said I was doing this like super quick. So <laughs> I wasn't really taking my time on this. But if you're really wanting to take your time and make it look slower, then you just want to do smaller brush sizes and then just don't like skip ahead super fast. Kind of hard to explain, but once you mess around with this brush, you'll kind of understand how to use it and how to get different effects with it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So I'm just going to go back here to our layer and we can just close this, the uh, brush layer. We don't need that anymore because we're not going to be adding any more brush strokes, but you can always go back and add more if you want. You can even like change the color. So like you can change it to like blue. And once again, just double click back on there. And then you can just add different colors onto your clip. But for this case, I'm just going to keep it super simple. And I'm not going to do any of that uh, crazy looking effects that you may see in other videos. So you guys can just mess with that. But I'm just going to keep this back in red. So what you want to do is duplicate this layer. Control C, Control V. So now you have two layers. And then if you go to your effects right here, you can see that there's a paint layer which is this uh, scribbled effect right here. And it's on both layers right now. But what you want to do is delete it on the bottom layer. So this bottom layer right here, delete your paint, just get rid of it. And then on the top layer, you want to make it transparent. The reason why we're doing this is so we can have glow on it. And then the glow won't actually like affect the bottom clip or like our actual like footage here. It'll only affect the scribble. So go to your effects and presets and just search up glow. I'm going to be using a default one that's already built into After Effects, but the deep glow and then S underscore glow just looks a lot better in my opinion. But for this one, I'm just going to show you guys how to use the default glow because most of you probably have this one and probably not the plugins. So I'll show you how to do this one. What you're going to change for this is the threshold, put it at one, change the radius at like 15, intensity like 50. All right, so once you've copied these settings, um, you can play it back, but you can see like it's not very bright, like the glow is in that strong. If I turn it off, it's barely a difference. So that's kind of like the bad part about this uh, built in one in After Effects. So what you can do to kind of like get around this is to copy the uh, glow layer right here uh, or duplicate it. So right click on it and hit duplicate. And what you want to do on this uh, second one is change the intensity to like one the radius to 50 and then keep the glow threshold at one. So now it's a bit stronger. If I turn it off, 
is more of a glow. And if you want to make it even more strong, you can duplicate it once again and change the radius to 100 this time. So now you can actually see the glow effect kind of happening there. Because with it off, those two uh, other ones, it's pretty weak. So those ones just add a lot more glow to it. So yeah, that's how to use these uh, glow effects and the brush tool instead of After Effects and how to create this cool animation. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.